I'm glad to meet you, but very sorry for the circumstance. I just can't imagine how you are feeling right now. I absolutely hate this for you, but we're here to, to talk about this and get this story out there and hopefully have some impact, right? Absolutely. We want your audience to know how they found out about the killing and which was uh, very, very insulting how they found out about it. They had no idea that Toby uh, had been killed. They found out when someone from the medical examiner called requesting they to donate the organs. Which one of you got that call? I got that call. So you did not know anything had happened? No, nobody called me. I'm shocked, that's just inconceivable. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Yes, I was at work and the lady said that she's calling to know if I'll give them the permission for Toby to donate his organs. And I, I'm like, what? Donate what? I told her, I said, ma'am, I don't understand what you're saying. And she asked me, are you saying that the medical examiner's office has not contacted you? And that was on Monday. I gave my sister the number to call. And that's how we got to know that Toby was killed. The way the news came to me was very, very inhuman and devastating. And we got to know that it happened on Sunday. So this happened on Sunday and you didn't learn about it until you got this out of the blue call on Monday? Yes. And Christopher, you were involved in these calls? No, I was, I was at 12 myself. Mm -hmm. She called several times, I didn't. No, not until my son called. And I was saying, what's up? Usually he doesn't call me when I'm at work, you know. So I picked up the phone and he said, Daddy, come home, Toby's dead. And how did you find out, Jeffrey? Um, I was on my way to work. My uncle um, called me and he told me to come home, um, that my brother had passed and um, because I couldn't believe anything that happened. I, I, it was, this is unreal. Um, his birthday was literally in about a week. At this time, the family still doesn't know the details as far as how Toby was killed. And so the entire family is now trying to inquire and investigate as to what happened. Um, so Jeffrey and I uh, contact the detective and he states that, you know, that he's busy, you know, they don't have any details to give us at this particular moment, then he'll call us back. We call back, I think maybe an hour later, and he was very dismissive. He was like, you know, you guys need to give me time to do my job. Um, you know, we're, we're saying, okay, well, can you just share anything that you know? All we know is that our family member has been killed. And he was just very, very cold. He wouldn't tell us what occurred until finally um, when he called later on Monday evening and he stated that, you know, uh, based on Courtney's reporting that, that Courtney had killed him in self-defense and that there was enough evidence for him to, you know, close the case, close the investigation at that particular time. Um, this was on Monday? This was, this was Monday. He within 24 a, hours? Within less than 24 hours, he had enough information to conclude that this was a domestic dispute. And based on the reports that he had, that that was all the information that he needed. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.